This video is sponsored by Nerd Monkeys. More on them a bit later on. So I normally write a script for these videos and read them off of my very sophisticated phone teleprompter app, which is admittedly what I'm doing right now. But because I'm slipping behind a bit on my self-imposed game dev deadlines, this time I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone. By which I mean I'm going to sit at my desk, go completely off script and talk to you while I do some actual game development. Welcome back to the point and click devlog, an ongoing series in which this is a portable green screen, I'm sat on the floor and I normally work over here. So uh, yeah, completely off script now. Um, I am just going to do some game development stuff that I've been meaning to do. Um, so I've got on the computer, what we have over here is, sorry for my squeaky chair as well. Um, we have a list of things that I'm going to discuss in the video. So I'll turn to them whenever I run out of things to say, which might be more often than not. And then some stuff to get done. Um, so what we are getting done today whilst I talk to you is the research and development rooms in the game, or at least we're going to set those up. Um, so what that means is add the set geometry, sort out layers, add the staircase hotspot, and then make basically the the, uh, the way that you'll go from one part of the room to the room above via a staircase. Um, hopefully get the character to walk up and then move the camera up and then it'll appear up there. But who knows, it might all fail and I'll have to just make it two separate scenes. Don't know. Anyway, um, so let's start going. Uh, let's add in the set geometry. And whilst we're doing that, I will talk about general update and goals. So um, this room here is uh, uh, this is the backdrop that is in all the games currently. I've actually just stolen this off the internet. It won't be in the final game. Likewise, this rain kind of animation is just a temporary thing. Um, but I've imported all of my backdrop bits um, so uh, so let's start putting them into set geometry one by one <clears throat> so uh, that's the background which we want a layer maybe we want that layer one because we're going to have a bit of black behind here between the two floors um, if you catch my drift um, anyway sorry I'm already rambling um, background, we want door closed for now, put that on one as well, uh, let's forget that other stuff, um, we want the foreground to be like really far in uh, ahead of us, uh, and I will add some parallax to that later. Um, and we want the lighting to be in here as well. And we're going to put that uh, quite far in front. So if we play that like already, um, we should just be able to have matey walking around in the scene. Here it is. Uh, again, the foreground will parallax slightly differently in the ultimately. So what we're going to try and do today is get it so that he starts to go up this staircase then he's going to disappear uh, and then the camera will like well, the camera will pan up to the room above so let's do that and then so yeah i'm gonna talk about um what i my my goals for the year which currently are to sort one room out per month um now this is actually two rooms there are four basically there are four rooms in the game that have this staircase double situation um this technically is one room um but if i can get them both done in one then that will help speed things up because my plan is to do one room per month i'm already a bit behind this is why this video is happening um so yeah that's the plan such as it is um what I want to do is just have a bit of a gap between the rooms, like so. Uh, backdrop two is going to go 
like here. Does that make sense? Can you see what I'm doing? Maybe it needs to be a bit higher than that, I don't know. Um, but it will pan up and he'll disappear and pan up. Um, backdrop to, backdrop to uh, lights as well. Oh, no. Come on, lights, there we go. And we want to put them up there as well. Put that on layer three or something. I don't know. Um, and to foreground is also going to be up there. And we're going to put that really far in the front. Okay. Um, the other thing we have is banisters. So to make this work, I've got the background which the player will walk on, and then I've got a cutout of the front of the banisters which will sit in front of the player, uh, and hopefully he can then walk behind the banisters and in front of the stairs, if that makes sense. Uh, right. So R&D banister is the top one. So we're going to make that layer like a hundred. Um, put it there. Like so. And then the, that's a banister. What do I call the other one? Bottom stairs rail, of course. And then that's going to be like a hundred as well. Yeah, so look, that's that's kind of its own thing. Um, okay, so happily, if we look at our little list, I've talked about general update and goals for 2022, which is one one room a month or scene, and that's kind of going okay. Uh, add set geometry, sort out layers. Did I just sort out layers? Guess I kind of did. Right, motoring. So what we need to do now is talk about channel progress quickly and uh, add a staircase hotspot. So to do that, we're gonna go to the editor, we're gonna go to hotspot 2D and we're gonna go staircase, add new, there it is. We are gonna pop it onto the staircase. Uh, we are going to position it over the staircase, I guess, kind of like that for now. I can finesse this later, right? So let's not worry too much. But if we say that's the staircase, um, we're going to create a walk to marker. Um, navigation, marker 2D staircase I've just made. There we go, you. You're gonna to walk to, uh, I guess, well, let's make, let's make two markers for this. He's gonna walk there and then walk up and then do stuff, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So uh, the rotation for this is 90. I'll never, never understand why 90 is anti-clockwise, but, there it is. So it's going to walk to there. Uh, okay, then we need to make um, a use interaction. So we're going to use the staircase, create staircase interaction, which lives up here. Okay, I'm also just going to add another marker Mark 2D uh, upstairs. Mm, that might be confusing to me later on, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm going to make him go like there. So this is going to be really probably not work at all, um, but we can see and I can finesse nearer the time. 
what we need to do. Well, let's come back to that. Add the staircase, hotspot is done. Um, channel progress. Do you know, it's been just over two years since I uploaded my first video and um, that's mental to me. Uh, like, a lot's happened, obviously. We're like three and a half thousand subscribers now, which is amazing. Big community Discord server that is like its own thriving thing. Um, and yeah, my first video has got like 50,000 views on it, which is mad. Um, but yeah, two years. That's another thing that we're meant to talk about. Um, cool, add the second camera. That's easy peasy. Back into the game editor. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go cameras, game camera, uh, nav cam one. Oh no, I've already got a second camera I can use because I duplicated this scene from another scene so I can, um, and I forgot to delete that, but whatever, which actually means I forgot to delete the on start cutscene. Oh no, did I? No, it's all good, don't worry. I'm talking nonsense. However, right, let's... Uh, make that yay big. Or yay big. That's around about the same size. Doesn't need to be exact for me for now. Probably should be, but it's not. Okay, and this camera is going to be called, uh, let's rename it to upstairs cam. Okay. How are you doing? Is this fun? I don't know. Uh, add a second camera, add a second nav mesh. Nav mesh being what the player walks along, so it's the space that currently down here this line this sort of grid which he doesn't have many places to go um, in fact in this scene do you know what you can walk all the way over here and he will need to in fact because there's not much depth in these scenes it is kind of a straight line rather than a big grid but what we do need to do is um, let him actually get to the stairs. So it'll be something like that, maybe. Make it a point. He, he sits naturally just a bit above um, above where the, the nav is, um, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but I know what I mean. That's a bit of a mess, but it's okay. Right, so up here, we're gonna have another nav mesh. Uh, da -da 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 -da, movable navigation, path, nav mesh, and we go, we're gonna call it Upstairs nav mesh. Add new, there it is. Um, where is it? <laughs> oh, it's there, okay. So, um, let's fiddle with that. Have a little fiddle. Again, this is all going to be very rough and ready at the start. But don't worry, I will finesse it later. That'll do for now. Okay, what are we doing? We're, we're racing through, to be honest. Um, so it's time to talk about the uh, lost dash end. Um, so like I said, two years since I started the first, well, since I uploaded my first video, um, and the community Discord server has become this amazing um, self-sustaining thing with loads of indie developers, and um, as a, an amazing sort of point of pride for, for me that some of the guys in there have 
um, done their started their own game jam, and I will do a full video on this, um, kind of after it's live and the dust has settled. But they are making a game called The Lost Dashin, which um, is about a lost dashin, but it's a kind of community made uh, point and click adventure game. Um, I am looking forward to playing it. I'm looking forward to doing a video about, you know, how it came to be and everything. Um, but it's just amazing to me that that is a thing that exists, right? I kind of made this uh, server on a whim. People are in there doing their own thing and a game jam has come out of it, um, which is something I never thought would happen, but is really cool and mad props to the guys in there for doing it. Um, I've talked about that. Cool. We are racing through. A player starts. I think what I meant by that was, is that when you come up here, um, I need a marker is what I need, not a player start. Um, puts like upstairs start or something so that um, when you come upstairs, when I transport him up here, it needs to be able to like transport him to a point. Um, so let's move that to like here. And that's minus 90 because it's clockwise and I'll just put it there for now. Okay. Um, Did I make a did I make a hotspot for the halfway upstairs? Yes, kind of. Okay. Uh, that this already is a is a terrible name for all it was, isn't it? Upstairs. I'm going to rename that to halfway up. My grand old Duke of York. Um, okay. Cool. <clears throat> Now I have a feeling that we also need to create uh, a new sorting layer because if he goes, if he just travels up, he's gonna get up here and be tiny. Um, so I'm gonna duplicate that and call it upstairs sorting and then I'm going to move it upstairs. Where does that start and stop? Starts and stops. Starts and stops kind of there. I have no idea how this is going to look or work. Um, but do you know what? We're almost, we've done a decent amount already um, so we're almost at the point where I can try and make this stair thing work um, at least to go upstairs and maybe I'll call it a day at that um, right but before I do that there's a sponsor message um, so I'm gonna go over there so I know you probably sat through some unskippable ads at the start of this video. So unless you're like a diehard fan, you're unlikely to be as excited about this news as I am. But two years after I uploaded my first video to this channel, I've just picked up my first proper sponsor, which feels pretty crazy to say, but pretty great considering it's actually a relevant one for this audience. So with that in mind, it is my genuine pleasure to talk to you very quickly about Nerd Monkeys, an indie publisher with a bit of a difference. Nerd Monkeys are the brains behind the Short Games Collection, which is a collaborative anthology of indie games that you can play without having to sacrifice like 60 hours of your life. Think 90s console demo CDs, but with games that start and finish all without overstaying their welcome. The first short games collection is out right now on the Nintendo Switch and now Nerd Monkeys are on the hunt for new indie gems for the follow-up anthology. So if you're working on something short and sweet right now, if you have a polished game jam project or even if you've got an already published game, they want to hear from you. 
the most important thing is that you feel your game offers a meaningful experience in a relatively condensed package. If that sounds up your street, you can head to the link in the description below for more information. And thanks again to Nerd Monkeys for being the channel's very first sponsor. I'm sure it won't be long before Raid Shadow Legends comes knocking on my door. That was fun. Um, I'm going to take that off. Uh, right, let's do the hotspot interaction for using the stairs. Um, which we need to do a few things. Walk to the point in the stairs. Start the camera transition. Transport or teleport the player. And then switch the nav mesh, mesh and switch the uh, sorting layer. And if all that works, I'd be amazed. Um, but if it doesn't, then at least I've set up some of the scene. Um, whilst I do it, I'll try and talk about some Steam page stuff. Um, so Steam page stuff basically means uh, I need to set up a Steam page at some point. I did a tweet the other day about um, whether, you know, how soon is too soon to set up a Steam page because I haven't got one, I haven't really announced my game other than on this channel. Um, and a lot of people just said, just do it whenever. Um, the earlier the better because you can get wish lists. Now I had read something a while ago that said like, don't do it um, too soon because people will just, the interest will dwindle, but then everyone else seems to say, just do it now. So probably just do it now um, or soon. And maybe I'll do, I'll do a whole video on that because I don't know how to set up a Steam page and that'd be quite a useful thing to, to tell people about. Um, right, what was I doing? Yes, so we're gonna use the staircase, by which I mean, we need to open an action list for use the staircase. So the first thing we're going to do, no, sorry, forget that staircase. Uh, we're going to walk to marker and face after moving. And that is staircase marker. And then what did I say we needed to do? Uh, walk to the point on the stairs so we're going to start the camera transition switch to upstairs cam and we'll call that a two second transition um, whilst that's happening we're going to the character to uh, move to point here's the player the point is going to be a halfway up whilst he's doing that uh, we are going to, whilst he's doing that, the camera is moving. Uh, I'll do wait until I finish on that and then just teleport the player, maybe. Uh, move to point. Marker 2D, upstairs start, and you teleport. <laughs> Character, face object, hold object, move to point, rename, switch portrait. Hmm. Is it change rendering? Sorting sprite, sorting map. Oh, that'll be useful though. We're gonna change the sorting map to upstairs sorting map. Uh, and then player teleport inactive. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not object. Teleport. Oh, he's player. Okay. Simpler than I thought. Um, upstairs start. Okay. So the camera moves, it takes two seconds to transition. He starts walking. Uh, 
um, when that's finished, the sorting map change the the sorting map changes. He teleports. The sorting map changes, and we're going to change the nav mesh as well. How do I do that? Object player. Bear with me. What was I supposed to be talking about whilst I'm figuring this out? Steam page. Talked about the Steam page, don't worry about it. Um, and talked about, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Nav mesh switch. How do you switch the nav mesh? I wonder. Inventory input, oh, movable, what's movable? Camera, character. No. What have I done? There's character change, rendering, sortings, flight, sprite direction, sorting map. No, it's not that either, is it? Object. How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? Constrain, movement cursor, da, da, no. Scene, change setting. Aha, settings and change default. Change nav mesh method, change nav mesh, new nav mesh becomes upstairs nav mesh. And then we're going to teleport them to there. Right. That is more or less everything that needs to happen. Now, the exciting thing for us is going to be to see like how wrong this goes. Okay, let's try it. That wasn't so bad. I mean, he was walking in front, and we need to change a few things first. He was walking in front of the uh, banister or the rail. Where is the rail? That needs to be like. 500 or something mad and then this nav mesh situation needs to be a bit different as well the problem is he was sort of walking he was sort of walking up rather than left I need him to walk left but also go up hmm uh, let me I'm gonna watch it again. Let's watch it again and see what happens. Okay. Now he's still he's still not in front of that, which means his sorting layer must be about a million. I oh, know. Hang on, that is right, isn't it? Oh, how am I going to do that? Because he is behind it, but he wants to be in front of it there. Oh, there'll be some sorting sorting stuff to do anyway so he's going to go up the stairs and appear there but I'll maybe make him walk along well I think that's okay yeah I think that's okay like lots to finesse but uh, I'm gonna call that a success The last thing to talk about is the fact that it's almost been a year since I left work to do this um, and quite a lot has changed in that year and that is something that I'm going to talk about in a whole video by itself because yeah it was like the end of April 2021 I left work and said I'm going to be a full-time game developer um, and yeah quite a lot has happened <laughs> sort of good and bad 
Well, not really bad, just different, right? Different for what it was going to be. Um, but yeah, so look, thanks for being with me whilst I've done some development stuff. Um, I don't know if that was interesting or not, but I'll hand back to uh, the other guy now to say goodbye. Well, that was nice and productive, or at least I really hope it was, because I'm recording this bit before I sit over there and do the bit that you've just watched, so like, my computer might have exploded for all I know. Either way, thanks very much for watching this slightly less polished, more freeform devlog episode. Hopefully future me has done a light edit that makes it, you know, not seem incredibly long and boring, but I guess only you can be the judge of that. If you like, you can subscribe to the channel, support it on Patreon, like this video, join 500 plus fellow indie developers in the community Discord server, or I don't know, you can make yourself a sandwich or something, it's up to you really. Either way, I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.